was talking about earlier in the interview, your mom and them, they was GD. You said you had a brother. Was your brother um, BD or GD? Like, or what? Did you have siblings? Man, yeah, bro. Like, D, like, my brother, my brother. It's, it's funny, you know, folks, man. They gonna see this they're gonna tweak me because I'm telling the truth, bro. I ain't gonna do no line, bro. Folks, then was GD, folk. When folks been moved on 55th, two of my brothers, folk, flipped BD, folk. Mm -hmm. The other one stood his ground. My brother Wayne stood his ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, but on 55th, you ain't got no choice but to flip BD, though. So Wayne standing his ground was that you gonna have to fight and then you gonna have to move from right there. It wasn't no you fighting, mm -hmm. you staying around. Nah, you had mm -hmm. to move. So my brother Chris and Poochie ain't had to move because they flipped BD. So mm -hmm. while my brother Poochie, he decided to go on his old block where he GD from. So they end up flipping him back GD. He come back on the block talking about he GD. Man, folks gonna smack his ass with a big ass TV. Wow! Oh, <laughs> ain't no fucking reason. Smack his ass with a big ass TV. Bam! On phone, I'm old shit. On day, while my auntie Pam come out on phone to my godmama and shit, she come out with a skillet, and she was gonna use it for folks them. And then they like, man, he switched gang on us. He been gang banging. She like, nigga, you been gang banging? Smack his ass with the skillet. Bang! I'm dead. I'm man. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, this shit real on BD. And that shit was just over <laughs> with. And then, like, my own phone number after that, um, Poochie had to move around. He couldn't be around no more. Damn. But I ain't gonna damn, lie about Poochie got... Ward, BD and shit. He was turned up. Folks of them had him snatching purchases, had him doing all type of shit that he never did while he was GD. So it was like the lifestyle mm. that he was, like, flipping to for real. He ain't know what he was doing. Mm. And these niggas around him rowdy as hell, so he ain't know what he was doing for real. That's what he told me. Mm. And then my mm -hmm. my brother Wayne just stayed his stayed GD and my brother Chris, he was well till we moved off the block, he ended up moving to Waukegan and flipping back GD and some whole other shit. But you know, he always mm -hmm. been GD anyway. I've been knew he was he just was faking just to to stay around and kick it. Mm-hmm. Damn. All right. So, uh, let me see. Okay. Damn. Okay. So, um, um, the guys on 51st, what, what gang was that? That is that, uh, what gang is that that y'all was in tour with back, back, going back and forth with? Like, what you mean? Like, what gang or what, like, set? Yeah, you said they GDs. Yeah, what set? I mean, they call you Met Boys. The Met Boys. Uh, uh, so that's different than the Cal You Met building. No, nah, um, Cal You Met Boys on 51st and and on 51st at Calumet. They got a they got a Calumet building too, but the famous Calumet building you talking about is 62217 and the BDs. That's on home. That's headquarters. Right, right. Okay, exactly. That's why I, I was I, okay. So it's another cat. It's they the Met yeah. boys. All right, I heard it. But it wasn't like they weren't the only ones we was in tour with. We was with S we was in tour like Black Gate, we right here in the middle. We was in tour with we were surrounded by all of them. We were surrounded all the GDs in the area, you know, a lot of them. It was it was mm -hmm. GDs on King Drive. It was GDs on Calumet, then it's GDs on Prairie, then it's GDs on Wabash, and we on Indiana. We in the middle of all that. We the only BDs right there, mm -hmm. except when you get the dip set. Yeah. That's front street. When you get the front street, that's on sixty first. We was the only ones right there, bro. So we was like, we was a tour with all them sets. So it was like mm -hmm. we was boxed in. But we always hold our own. That's how we got our respect. We always held our own. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying we didn't get fucked up sometimes. But we did a lot yeah. more fucking up than getting fucked up on BD. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so you said you got shot when you was 19. Can you describe how, that situation? Man. Like, for real, for real, I got I got pop fucking around with the fucking around, being, uh, being high and mighty, bro. Being high and mighty, thinking I'm bigger than the mob, thinking that, thinking I'm Thinking I'm like that, you know, on phone I'm just on my Superman shit. I was I was around the time I was like I was in my I was in my form, like I'm running shit, like this is my block. I'm the one calling the shots out here. And it was just a situation I can't really speak on for real, for real. I got to fight with a motherfucker, motherfucker up on me, blick me down. Uh, I still uh, live to this day, so I ain't tripping. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. That that was the only time that you been in a situation like that where you were shot. Yeah, hell no, I got shot. I got shot two times since I've been in Virginia. Damn, I came what, home from the feds. And can you describe any of them situations? Yeah, I, um, 
My first, my first situation when I was out here in VA, I'm a fucking home. I got shot in my shoulder right here. Boom. I was at a little studio party and shit. Boom. I came out with some, I was with some females and shit. Long story short, I think it was some bag dough shit. You know how this shit go. Whole time doing them up blicks. Me and my homie tried to get up out of there. They started blicking. They hit me in my shoulder. They hit my homie in his arm. We went to the hospital. I ended up getting surgery on my shoulder and shit, and it was good. The second time was I was coming out my PO office, bro, downtown. Damn. Coming out the federal PO office. You know them scooters that be downtown? They probably got them where you at, too, that be downtown. I hopped on one of them. I was riding. Boom, riding, 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 riding. I get off the scooter because it went dead. And I walked across the street to the breakfast spot. And when I walked across the street mm-hmm. to the breakfast spot, they was like, they closed at 2 o'clock. So I'm like, all right, I walk back out. I had my phone down on my, I had my head down on my phone texting my boss. But I had a little gig. I'm like, man, where the fuck my ticket? And before I can even mm. send a message, all I hear, whole time I got shot in my main artery in my home calf muscle. My folks, them almost mm. bled out, bro. I was sitting right there, I lost so much blood. They thought I was going to die. I almost bled out. Mm. A dude from the military ran across the street, tied my home. Tied my leg up to stop mm-hmm. the bleeding. I hopped in the ambulance. They kept telling me while I was on the ground, like, man, stop looking at it. Cause it was, bro, it looked like my whole calf must have came out my leg. That's how much blood it was. And I'm like, oh my mm-hmm. God. You know, I'm thinking in my head, like, I finna check the whole time thinking in my head, like, nah, nigga, I'm all right. I'm a motherfucking gangster, nigga. I'm a soldier. Ain't this shit ain't nothing taking me out this mm-hmm. shit. I can't die. I'm Wolverine. Mm-hmm. You was telling yourself that yeah, while you look like... I'm, BD, I'm yeah, telling myself, like, yeah. man, this shit over with. I ain't about to die. I'm Wolverine, nigga. I'm a photo leader. Mm-hmm. Can't take me out. I'm too gangster. And sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like that. And sometimes that'd be, mm-hmm. that'd be a plus, but then sometimes it'd be a negative. Because you never know what can happen. Any nigga can die. But if you think like that, right. I swear to God, then that shit brought me to life. I got, so I got in the ambulance. Yeah. So now nah, I'm on the ground. They like, don't look at it. Don't look at it. But I'm steady looking at it. One of my homies pull up and shit. He's going fucking bananas. If I would act like how he acted, I would have fucking died. Probably. On phone, mm-hmm. the, you know, the more you, your blood, pay, your shit gonna mm-hmm. come out. Man, why they put mm-hmm. me in the ambulance? I had this black lady, nice as hell. The police study asking me questions. She like, man, leave that man alone. Boom. Mm-hmm. Soon as she, he done, he left out on phone. She like, baby, you gonna be okay. Which she not knowing if I'm gonna be okay or not. I'm shot my main mm-hmm. artery. She don't know if I'm be okay or mm-hmm. not. They took me to the hospital. I ain't go to sleep. I just stayed woke the whole time. Boom. I went through five surgeries, though, bro. You were scared to go to sleep? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell motherfucking mm-hmm. yeah. So they gave me them perks. Mm-hmm. And, and they gave me them perks. I went my ass to sleep. Oh, folks, no. But I went through five surgeries yeah. for that shit, bro. Five surgeries, bro. I got a big ass Damn. guy. I don't walk the same no more, no nothing, bro. I can't lift my leg up, no nothing, bro. I done been through some tragic Damn. shit, boy. In Chicago, yeah. and I here in VA. These niggas out here in VA ain't playing either, though. Jeez, I see. That's how it sounds. Like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, so we how you...